Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas and today we're going to talk about my favorite lovable projects, right? There's a few lovable projects out there that have been launched and have users and have some have many users, some are launched, but they, you know, they're still missing some good features or some are launched and they're pretty impressive, right? So I'm going to go ahead and share with you my, my 10 favorite lovable projects that I have used and that I say that and I and I, that I think that you should at least try yourself as well. So if that's something interesting for you guys, let's go ahead and get started. Now the first tool is called Maker Thrive and it has around 345 members. There are 47 projects and basically what it is, it's like this community where people post projects that they've done, whether it be like a tool that they've built or whether it be like some long form video that they've made. There's a bunch of different, um, you know, people here posting different things and basically sharing this as a community, right? So we have a feed of different things that are happening general and specific for me right now. I don't have anything for me, but we have like a general feed. You can already see that there's a, you know, we have this type of general data over here. We have a leaderboard from the last seven days, last 30 days. So there's this type of gamification aspect to it there are popular tools trending projects right so there's this first one which is this tool maker thrive and then you have other tools like copy meow and you can visit this project and kind of see more about this in this case i'm you can enter like a specific url so let's just get this maker thrive one copy this put it here and click on extract colors and it's gonna take a few seconds to extract these colors Right, and after just a few seconds, we see visual palette extraction, dominant color is this one, and then we have all of these different colors. So this is a really cool little tool that was shared in Maker Thrive, right? So you have a bunch of people building stuff like this. You can connect with them. You can try their products. They can try your projects, right? There are different resources out there. For example, building AI agents. Um, so these are like more for learning things, which is great. There's a leaderboard, like I told you before, and you can message these people that are in first place um, with a specific um, point system, right? You have all of these different projects, right? So this Maker Thrive is, a, is actually a very nice way to kind of, you know, there's another community to, to connect with other builders, right? Now, the next tool that I found was this one called GeoFollower. And GeoFollower is a real-time lo location tracking with background support. So you can create a new tracker so I have one, sac uh, one tracker that I actually made, but I deleted it. So we're going to create a new one. And basically you get this link. You can copy this link. And let's say if I were to open WhatsApp on another tab, let me do that really quick. I'm going to open WhatsApp here. And I'm going to basically open that link that I sent to myself and put on allow while visiting the site. And then you can see it's active and I can click on enable background tracking. And then over here, I can click on view map and it's going to take me exactly to where I am. So it's going to take me all the way down here to South Florida. And I don't want to show you exactly where my home is, but it shows exactly where my home is, right? You can see the, the coordinates over there. So you can see this little red dot. That's where, that's where I am, right? So that's the second app. And this is quite useful for, you know, people tracking their kids or teenagers if they're going out, right? You can see that here. There's like this nice little banner that kind of represents that. But yeah, this is the second project that I want to show you that was built using Lovable. Now the second, or sorry, now the third tool that I want to show you is this one called Your YT or Your YouTube, right? So we have um, all of our videos. We can add favorites as well. I haven't done that yet. And for a free plan, we can add five videos. I've added three videos from my YouTube channel. And for example, we can click on this one that I uploaded yesterday and we can chat about this video, right? So we can say, so this video is about top 12 design inspiration resources of 2025. And I can say, what is the name and link of the sixth resource that I mentioned? So I can do that. And basically what this does is this uh, tool kind of understands my transcript and it says, okay, the, the sixth, resource that I mentioned was Toolfolio and it, it's a basically, you know, describes it. 
and I didn't really say the link in my trend in my transcript so it's not going to give me the link but it at least gives me the tool based on what it understood from the transcript and not only can you chat with the video you can see the transcript you can create actions so you can generate action steps which basically is like it takes a transcript and it creates a like bullet point list of things to do based on this trans transcript so um i don't really know what exactly is the best you know best case for this but you can do that and then you have social media so you can generate a social media uh, you know uh, content based on the specific video so this is pretty great if you're you know a youtuber like like i am now this next tool called vpromise.lovable.app um so if i were to just lower this a little bit you can see the url right here right so this tool I, it was quite hard for me to understand what exactly it was in the beginning. But it's basically like an ed tech showcase um, where you have different types of ways of learning. So you have this quick buzzer, you have this interactive canvas art, you have, um, for example, attendance tracking, interactive data vis visualization. So these are all like different types of ways for people to learn in in different ways right so it's it's quite difficult to understand but for example this proposal system you can click on this and then you have like some type of forum and you can click on several forums and talk about them or read more about it so there's like different types of formats um, you can also see all the people that are online including myself right and you can read more about the other people, right? So yeah, this is another project that I find that I found quite interesting. We have this interactive heat map. Um, still, I still don't really understand this, but I found it, you know, interesting to show you guys. But you can go ahead and check all of this stuff out and see what you find. There's also this quick buzzer. I need more people to join, but basically you can do something like that as well. We have this interactive canvas art that you can follow a specific point and it goes away from your... It runs away from you, so, so, sort of, right? The next tool is one called Cvium, right? And you can, add, you can add a CV. So I'm just going to go here and click on a CV that I have. And I've basically uploaded a random CV that I have in my computer, right? And we just have to wait a little bit for this to upload. And once it uploads, you can see you have your last applications here. And you have a big list of different jobs that you can apply to. Um, right now, I am not in the UK. But you only have UK and Estonia as, as examples. But let's just say that we're applying to this one. We can click on apply now. You can see the match that we have. And customer service team leader, right? And basically, business administration, not so good. Trilingual, it's not so relevant here. And then you can tailor your CV to, to be based off of this specific job role, which is great. And you can also create a cover letter, right? And once you click on one of these, a really nice animation appears and the cover letter, you know, comes out really quickly and you can export it as a doc or copy it, right? Or generate a TXT file, or you can regenerate the letter so this is basically like the ultimate, you know, um, job application based on your resume, but only for the UK and Estonia, but it's all built in Lovable. This is just a great example of what you can build, right? If you have a good idea. The next tool is called funnelforms.app, funnelforms.app. And basically um, you can create funnels, you can, you know, create a single selection funnel, something like this. You can create text funnels dates you can combine these together you can publish them right so this can be like some type of map i can write something random here and then basically you put a required field in some places you can publish them you can preview them you can apply different styles to these um right based on different colors and you can also apply some logic here right this is really interesting what they have here right so you have different fields different styles different logics different 
you can notify, you can do email notification, SMS, WhatsApp, Slack notifications. It's very sophisticated. There are a bunch of apps that you can connect to, but they're all coming soon. Most just Google Calendar and Microsoft Outlook. It's still pretty good. And then you can just embed your form in your website, for example, or in social media. So it's all, it goes all from zero to hero to embed. And um, yeah, and basically you can do some general setups like the language, security, GDPR settings, and, and much more. And so the next tool is called Access AI, and it's basically creating a widget, an AI widget for your website that kind of knows about your website. So it's like a chatbot, right? So it's like an AI assistant specific for your website. So you can put some type of, you know, uh, URL here. So we can put like visual electric, so that, that AI generating tool. We can save the changes, go to appearance, you know, add a, a, a widget avatar, add the primary color, position it to be in the bottom right, for example. And you should get a widget preview, but we don't get it here. Um, we have behavior, so it can be a male or a female. Um, you can auto open on load, and then you can get the embed code at the very end and add it or embed it to, to your website. Another tool that I found is called Awaken Ambience. And if you click on this button, right, you will get this. Uh, if I click on it, you, you guys won't hear it, but if I click on it, these waves will basically change based off of my voice and you will get this AI talking to you. So it will basically understand you. If you say, how are you? It's a good and you. And basically what this is, is it's a visual, you know, AI assistant. So I guess it's not, I, I couldn't really test the tool yet, but I guess when it's out, you can share your screen or you can show your camera or something and it will basically, you know, talk to you in real time. Like if it's looking at the same thing, right? So. This is also a really interesting project that is also being built in Lovable. So I know that the product isn't out yet, but just this thing that it kind of like reacts to your voice. I want to just try it out here with you guys. And we're going to go, hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. You can see that my voice is changing, hello. right? Hello. So yeah, yeah, that's that's that tool, right? Pretty interesting. And one of the last tools, it's called Dreamcatcher, um, I really like this a lot. I think it's one of my favorite ones, if not my favorite tool here. It's very different, um, but it's basically like a dream journal. And you can read other people's dreams and there are, you know, they also find patterns in people's dreams and you can kind of get a visual representation of that. So you can explore dreams, right? So you can find trending ones or latest ones. I can click on this one, which was done today. The mountain implodes me. There's no water moisture. And so you can, let me go back to find another one. But basically you can kind of, yeah, get some interpretations of what these dreams are. So I found myself in an ancient observatory with a ceiling that opened directly to the cosmos. So you can find like a spiritual meaning to this. So you can click on spiritual and generate interpretation and then wait a, a couple of seconds and it's basically going to generate a spiritual interpretation of what this dream means. So symbols and their meanings, possible guidance from higher consciousness, suggestions or reflection or meditation, right? So really cool to check out. And if you go down here, you can see global stats. And I clicked on this research dashboard and I'm here in the United States and I click on the United States. It says top dream theme is flying. So yeah. Quite interesting research insights, dream pattern correlation, lucid dreaming frequency, emotional impact. So I really think that the, the whole goal of this project seems really cool. And I'm very excited to see where it goes in the future. And the final project that I want to show you is called Skill Step. And it's basically a trusted companion for women to build a future in Europe. So to find courses, find jobs or just step-by-step -step guidance. So, you know, off the bat, this is all built in Lovable. The design is beautiful for this landing page. I was scrolling through it and I, was, I saw this section. I was like, damn, that's nice. So it's, you, it's cool to see that with Lovable, you can build such beautiful design like this. Um, you can already get a sneak peek of what the dashboard looks like, which I'm gonna show you in a sec. Um, but yeah, that's the first thing that kind of impressed me from this 
uh, from this project. And if we go to go to dashboard, right, you can see that um, you need to complete your profile. You can see a video of how it works, which is actually a great video. It pops up like this and you can see a nice video of how how exactly the, the, the project works. We can see job offers. We can see messages from other people, right? In this case, they're just like, you know, fake people, but you get the message and um, you can have overview analytics reports about your specific, you know, data. You can get more infos on job offers. You can up the, upload your profile name and, and resume, where you're from, a little bit about you. And yeah, this is a really nice project that is being done and, and lovable. And I'm also, you know, kind of excited to see how the next steps go with this. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today. It was really fun to do. I found all of these nice projects, mostly um, via Twitter. And also Lovable made a hackathon about a week ago. And most of these are like the finalists from this hackathon. So, so yeah, that's where I found all of these different projects. So if you guys know more projects or if you guys are building some of your own, please feel free to share them below. I would also say maybe even upload them to Maker Thrive might be a good place for you to do that. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.